Here's why you should never mess with Sigma INFJ people. A Sigma INFJ is a person who is confident yet introverted. They're not loud or arrogant. Instead, they're reserved and tend to spend most time alone. They also appear to be calm, thoughtful, and collected. Because of this reason, many people tend to look down on Sigma INFJs. They think it would be fine messing with them, and they might get something from doing so. However, they don't know that they're gravely mistaken. A Sigma INFJ is a person who just sits quietly by himself, trying to avoid everyone, just existing, but they always pay attention to their surrounding. You already think you know them, but in reality, you've not even scratched the surface. So, messing up with a Sigma INFJ is unwise, and here's the reason. But before that, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified when there's a new video uploaded. Let's begin. 1. They know what kind of games they are in, and they play them well. Because they're brave enough to approach their abusers instead of avoiding them, Sigma INFJs can call these manipulators out on their poor behavior. People may accuse them of this and that, but they appear to be unbothered by those unjustified manners. There is no need for these manipulators to know what they're doing because they will not be able to see it anyway. On the other hand, they are sensitive enough to see people's motives. Thus, they know what kind of a game they're in. 2. They avoid confrontation, but they'll strike hard when the time comes. As a rule, they don't engage in any kind of fighting with their abusers. In conflict, Sigma INFJs prefer to keep a distance until the tension has subsided rather than be compelled to react and act quickly. This strategy has helped them become so successful because they take advantage of their opponents and force them to do all of the work on their own. Thus, they're the greatest threat to those who mistreat them. 3. They put little care to anyone who messed with them. No one will be able to stop Sigma INFJs from going about their daily lives. These manipulators believe that the only way they can acquire control over them is to distract them. Thus, they would do anything to sway the INFJ. However, Sigma INFJs never really care about these people, so they could dream of hurting the INFJ's emotions and manipulating them. If you're a Sigma INFJ, how does it make your bullies feel when you don't care about what they want? 4. They don't hesitate to confront the people who invade their privacy. Don't mess with a Sigma INFJ if you don't want to find yourself in a conversation that's awkward and tough to get out of. Sigma INFJs won't shy away from investigating the reasoning behind other people's actions and looking into the underlying issues. By making their bully examine their own actions, the Sigma hopes to gain more control over them. They want to understand their bully's unsolved concerns and why they need to do that. Things would be good if they could solve them all at once. After all, it's still the nature of INFJ to care for others. 5. They humiliate their abusers by showing people what kind of person they are. There is no room for intimidation or harassment for Sigma INFJs because they don't allow it to happen to them. On the contrary, they demonstrate to others that people's insults are insignificant in comparison to their genuine potential. That way, they can demonstrate their competence at work or their fluency in communication with people who bullied them. INFJs are independent people, and they are a little bit perfectionist. So when they decide to do things, they will make sure to do it great. I hope this brief explanation is enough to make you understand more about Sigma INFJ's personality. Don't hesitate to share your opinions or experiences in the comments section below if you have any. Subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so that you'll get a notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you.